Live. Welcome back, everyone. This week's recipe of the week is being brought to you by the man in the house, Cracker Boy and Cracker Girl Singer, Brent Price. Brent, you've done it again, bro. Now, you, I've got to say, you brought in a big crock pot. It's not nearly what it used to be. <laughs> <laughs> no. There may be a little bit in the bottom. <laughs> Even our camera guy back here is a, We had to go hunt for him. I thought he was going to be up I under think he laid up there one of <laughs> Good stuff. Well, what we've got tonight is we've got a venison chili, which, you know, uh, you know Gary Monaset was with mm -hmm. us, and uh, he was really well known for his chili seasoning, and I was able to uh, purchase that recipe after Gary passed, and I've rolled it into our Cracker Boy line, but uh, there is a recipe on the side of the bottles. Mm -hmm. uh, it actually was taken off of Gary's bottle, mm -hmm. so it's identical. But uh, I went to Mike Flowers last night. I had a couple deer processed. I got some uh, some venison hamburger, went home, uh, cooked it all night long, got up this morning, messed with it a little bit, and it's been in the crock pot all day, and it's, it's wonderful. I got a question. Yes, sir. And I want the truth. Okay. Okay. Oh, honest, I'm looking at you eyeball to eyeball now. <laughs> with my one good eye. All right. I want to know something. If when you cook stuff overnight like that, do you wake up the next morning and your stomach goes <laughs> I gotta know. Am I the only guy that this happens to? <laughs> All I can say is the house smells good. <laughs> I would, Joy does that. I mean, when you wake up the next morning, I'm like, oh my gosh, my stomach's going to <laughs> like, well, You know, something that I did try that, that, that Mike Flowers gave me and I tried it for the first time was his uh, venison hamburger with smoked bacon. Mm. Now that's good. Oh man. Sounds good. It and it's is better delicious. than it has to be. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. Matter of fact, I after trying this, I told Mike that uh, that I'd like to have one of the two deer I took up there. I had both of them ground into hamburger, mm -hmm. but one of them I want that mixture. It's That'd really be good on the grill. And he's got all different kinds of stuff out there, and people just don't realize. Mike's got so much to choose from, and they are such good people. Oh, yeah. I mean, you can't find nicer people. And uh, well, Mike's one of my best friends, and, and Deborah, uh, how she puts up with all of them. <laughs> <laughs> we won't go into that. she puts up with that. all of us. <laughs> I mean, because we're all adopted <laughs> there. <laughs> so, uh, but, uh, you know, they do such a good job. They make bologna. They make uh, here recently. Have you tried their pepperoni? They're making pepperoni. Deer, I have not. Venison pepperoni. So now we can make a venison pizza. You know, yeah. like if you're a pizza lover, that's it's it's even better. Um, if you like Italian subs with with salami, he makes venison salami, venison bologna, now wow. venison pepperoni. Put lettuce and tomato and onion on there and call it a sandwich. And, you know, and do it like he that. He makes a lot of beef sticks for me when I go on the road yeah. doing our trade shows. I, uh, which he incorporates our seasoning into them, but uh, we go, th go through a lot of the beef sticks. The other thing he makes that everybody goes crazy over is the snack sticks. Uh, yeah. Now he had to purchase a, a smoker for nothing but designated for snack sticks. And it's big. And it's huge. Mm. And this thing's got rolling racks in there and it's going all the time. And people go crazy over that because it's great deer stand food. I mean, you're yeah. sitting in a blind or 20 foot up a tree, uh, you know, <laughs> you'll hunt a little harder when you get down there last day. <laughs> you start thinking what about What I it. like about Mike's uh, location out there is everything is so clean. It's, it's top of the line. Really a nice place. He got a 99 one year, and this has been like four or five years ago from the state because he had a light burnt out light bulb. It wasn't because of the kitchen. Or where the, everything's fixed. It's because he had a burnout light bulb that just went out on him. And he got a nine and I got a point taken off of that light bulb. Wow. Other than that, Mike's always come in, uh, Mike and Deborah's always come in with a hundred score. So yeah. they keep that place spotless. They keep it clean. And they do run a tight ship. There. Well, the turnaround time. I took the two deer in yesterday and, and they're gonna be ready tomorrow. And another thing, your deer you use what you're going to get. Exactly. You're not getting somebody else's, or they didn't put your batch of meat with somebody else's batch of meat, or, you know, why don't we make up a 500-pound batch of... Uh, uh, and divvy it all up. Uh, and divvy it up, yeah, yeah uh, of sauces instead of just doing yours. Right. They do just yours. And I love that. Uh, 
Because we can get it the way we want it. And Joe and I don't like uh, fat or pork or beef fat added to ours. Right. We like just El Natural. Uh, and it tastes better. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Like I told you, I got three or four converts today. You know, they, they're like, oh, oh, yeah, I'm in for this venison stuff. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, because we don't add all that stuff to it. Uh, and the thing about lean meat with no fat in it, if you add water, is all the only moisture it needs is just yeah. water. So if people are, are are going crazy over that. It's just simple. Yeah. And you got a meal that everybody loves. Deer chili. Now you can make spaghetti, chili. M meatloaf. We ain't going to make another meatloaf. I'll do that soon. He, he made a meatloaf and he didn't like not to make meatloaf. So. <laughs> uh, we were slapping it between two pieces of bread quick. <laughs> uh, meatloaf sandwich. But, uh, you know, stuff like that. You do those things. I'll tell you something else. A great appetizer is ground venison in like nacho cheese dip mm -hmm. and dipping your Fritos. I love Fritos. Now, anyway. what was the recipe you were talking about in the break room? Now, Calvin Cothran, Cunningham Motors, GMC in Springfield, gave me this one. It's called Deer Poppers. And he takes the venison uh, uh, backstrap, mm -hmm. which is your filet mignon. Yeah. And he slices it kind of cross grain. And then he takes uh, jalapeno peppers and cuts them in half and takes all the seeds out of them, get all the tannin out of them as right. much as possible. So he takes one on one side of that piece of meat and one on the other and then he wraps it in bacon. And then he sticks a toothpick through it. And he marinates his. Uh, you can marinate or you not marinate it. Right. But then you put it on the grill. When the bacon is kind of crispy, done. done, everything's done. So it doesn't take long. We will have to try that uh, recipe. We're going to have to try that. Yes. And we, hey, let's try that at the fairgrounds. We can do that. We, when we do the show. Let's, we'll have some cow horns out there and <laughs> cattlebells. And we'll be going on. We had a good time last year. Great time. But I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, deer is probably one of the healthier foods you can have. <clears throat> Check out the uh, Brent Price's uh, products here, Cracker Boy, Cracker Girl Seasonings. It makes everything taste good, whether it be popcorn or whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, you got a great product and something to be very, very proud of. Well, thank you. I've worked hard on it, and Mike Flowers has this whole everything. line. Yes, sir. He's a, he's a believer. So get it, get it over there to Mike Flowers, 4450 Eaton's Creek Road, right here in Nashville, Tennessee, Davidson County, and, and you can pick it up. Hey, we got a nice package for you tonight. We've got some swim baits for you, exclusively from Mad Dad Lures. He's got a nice, nice bag of uh, swim baits that we're going to give away. Be the fifth caller here at 737-7767. You're going to walk away with a package that will catch walleye, sauger, largemouth, smallmouth, everything. Be right back with more Southern Woods of Water.